I've been away for a while. Not because of that, but because I've been working on this in my mind and mood boarding and trying to find creatives for the past six months until finally doing the work months ago to make everything you see come to life. So, here we go. So I have the GFX 100S and because the first thing I'm going to be shooting is close-ups, I have here the uh, Fujifilm GFX or GF 110 lens. So this is going to be really good for like super tight shots and I'm about to set it up. Don't judge how I do this. Line up the red. Also connecting it to the trigger. We have Pro Photos uh, in studio right now, so using this. So that's pretty secure. I'm also going to connect it to a tripod because it's super heavy. I was gonna tether, but the tether cord I have is too short. So I'm using um, an SD card. So let's take out the lens. That's how tight we are right now. Um, for setup, pretty much connected it to the USB card system. I'm not gonna focus too much on my film settings or like those type of settings right now. Just wanna make sure that I can use the trigger. So I'm just gonna, oh no, I'm gonna test, okay? I'm gonna test, so watch out.
Yes. Yeah. I like the jewelry. Just to give it something. Yeah. You know what I mean? Not yeah. too much. Like we can take it off. We can do like a variation. We'll do one with it and yeah. one without so we have those two. Yeah. Yeah. I think I want a little bit of liner. Just a little bit of liner on the lip. Just a little bit. Help me with that. Just a little. Yeah. Hey, Devin. Sorry, before you get too deep. I think I want just a little bit of liner. Yeah. Just a little like bit. Where, yeah. Like, well, where darker. Yeah. We don't need earrings, do we? No. Perfect. One thing yeah. so that it doesn't distract too much from the hair. Okay. Could it be like brownish? Yeah. That is a good frame. So what I'm gonna do right now is test light and make sure everything's good and then I'll let you know when we're like through. through. So, one, two, three. Okay. So I'm gonna step back a little bit. Test. See this face? I want you to repeat that face for me. What did yeah. you do that? Um, I don't know. <laughs> but like that, like intensity, just like, I think you were, you were staring right, sorry. You were staring like right between the light and the camera. I just want her to repeat that face. Are you talking about like in, in right in here for me though, like that? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. So hold on, like here mm -hmm. and here. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Okay, do me a favor, give me like, on the count of, when I get to three, open your eyes. So like one, two, so it's like, yeah. Um, and turn, I'm gonna touch your face real quick. Yeah. Okay. Right. One, two, three. Whoop, I didn't get that. One, two, three. Okay. A little closer. One, two, three. So this shoot, I'm calling this piece of work, Africa's daughter. Um, and it rooted from when I was a kid, I'm sure, a little, you know, we'll drop, we'll drop, we'll drop the little photo. Um, this is what I looked like, I was cute or whatever. I hated this hairstyle. I really truly did. And I hated a lot of the hairstyles that I used to do when I was a kid, just because I didn't feel like it was like what was fashionable or trendy or, you know, like cute. But as an adult now, and having an appreciation for my roots and where I come from and how hair is such an important part of just how like beautiful we feel and how we express ourselves and how we walk about life. I have such an appreciation for the art of hair and, and how I used to experience it as a child. Um, I remember my mom would take me to like the local hair salon and they would, you know, there would be that auntie that just, ah, she would just be very tight on your edges. She wouldn't be very, you know, very kind to your edges or like going through relaxers or plaits or braids and all the different things that we would do to our hair for beautification. And I, I grew up not appreciating that. And where I am today, I'm very much African, I'm also American. And the American part of me 
has seen so much editorial work and so much Vogue and like W Magazine and The Cut and things like that and wonder what it looks like when I mesh the hairstyles that I recall from my childhood but that are also very rooted in like just being Nigerian specifically and what I like today and just blending the two into a fashion story. That's essentially the goal of what I tried to do with this shoot. And I hope it comes across that it works. Um, my vision in reality meets somewhere in the middle, but I'm glad I was able to just make this happen and, and tell a fashion story ultimately, um, but mix it with just like a nod to my childhood and a nod to this this hairstyle in this uh, little childhood photo of me and just finding a way to to tell stories that are authentic to me now moving forward my fashion work i'm learning i'm learning what truly has like tammy's signature and what like tammy's aesthetic is and what Tammy really likes um, but I'm glad that I was able to shoot this and learn from this and and bring this to life and and make mistakes and learn and 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 be on set because ultimately I really love I really love being behind the camera so yeah this is Africa's daughter oh okay never mind look like a little lower. I'm trying to like get your eye level. Okay. Okay. Look directly into this camera. Let me see what that looks like. Yeah, just look directly into the camera. Yeah. Where's Arnold? Okay. Okay. Give me a side profile instead. Yeah. Chin down just a little. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna take that. Hold it. Hold it. One, two, three. Oh, I lied. Yep. Okay. One, two, three. So clearly I shot film and digital for this um, video. And the reason I wanted to do that was because film is getting expensive scratch that film has been expensive if we're gonna be just frank right but for the love of film i can't stop shooting film but i also don't want to lose that aesthetic in my digital workings especially when i work with clients and sometimes clients want a digital like focused shoot they don't want film i think Fuji was a great alternative to that. It gave me, first of all, the editing process for Fuji because of the, um, what do they call them? I'm, I'm blanking on what they call them. It's not pregnancy brain. I'm just blanking on what, it call, what it's called. But when I'm editing, especially in Lightroom, they have different presets. And those make it a lot easier to like begin your color grading process and how you want the film to look and you could change the brainage, all these things that Fuji has that are akin to you shooting film. So for my digital body, I was really excited to have the Fuji to pair with my film photos. Now, as you can see, the photos are dramatically different aesthetically only because I used the trigger on the Fuji and I did not use the trigger on my Mamiya only because I did not have the trigger set up yet for my Mamiya and that wasn't the flaw I was trying to work with so I wanted to just shoot with what I had 
Um, so the photos look a little bit different, but the Mamiya's quality and the Fuji's quality are chef's kiss. I love my Mamiya RB67. I can see why all the film shooters are just like, get a Mamiya, get a Mamiya. Like it's, it's crazy good. And also shout out to Legacy uh, Photo Lab for helping me fix that camera up. Um, but all the film photos you see in this shoot are shot on Portrait 400. I wanted something reliable. I wanted something with enough exposure, especially since there wasn't a lot of ample light that I was using, especially for film. So yeah. So if you're looking for a digital alternative to film, I suggest a Fuji, get it on KEH. And like, you know, good old reliable Kodak. I bought one box and I used three rolls of film, I believe. Um, <laughs> and processed it at my local film processor. Um, yeah. And then I know some of y'all are gonna be like, well, you can scan and process this yourself and you can save money that I don't want to. I don't want to. Let me support my local film shops, okay? Let them do the work. They have the machines. They have all the things that I need and they give me great resolution. I am not about to do all that work myself. It was already work shooting this, so. If you can do it, do it, do it yourself. Don't come for me when I do it. My, I don't want to do it myself. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, I rambled. Okay, I'm gonna need you to spot me. I'm finna kneel on this. Let me get better. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Ready? Okay. Perfect. So we're gonna do a couple light tests. Okay, now let me get a complete side profile. Yep, perfect. Hold it. Tilt your face towards me just a little, a little bit more. Right there, perfect. Look at me, yep. Okay, hold it. I would like to give a big, 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 huge shout out to KEH for partnering with me. And I'm gonna make this a little bit more personal because you always hear like, hey, thank you to my little sponsor, blah, 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 blah. But quick backstory, right? 
again, I said I've been working on this idea for like six, seven months. And part of it was, there was a little bit of fear of just like, okay, there's a certain type of equipment that I really want to use, especially trying to shoot digital and trying to pair it with my film stuff. And there's a certain fear that you get as a creator when you reach out or want to reach out to brands and want to work with them, especially like, I don't got 10,000 of y'all. I don't got, you know, a lot of Instagram followers. My social media ain't popping like that. It's nice, it's cute, but I would consider myself, I wouldn't even consider myself an influencer. Bump that. I'm a creator and I'm a micro creator on the scale compared to others, right? So part of my fear is just like, what are they gonna say? Are they gonna say no? Are they gonna like believe in me? Are they gonna believe in the content, believe in the work? But KEH believed in me and they believed in one, I know I'm talented, like, I'm talented, I know. Um, but even knowing you're talented sometimes is not enough. You just have to like push yourself. And so I reached out, had a whole pitch, had a whole mood board. Let me know if that's a separate video you wanna see of how to create mood boards as a creative and as a creative that wants to work with brands and partner with people even when you're trying to work with other creatives, I suggest you create a mood board because it's important you communicate your ideas visually to other visual parts. But anyway, so I reached out to KEH and I was like, here's my little pitch. Created a deck, showed them what I wanted to create and showed them the equipment that I wanted to loan or borrow. And they partnered with me. They leg legit believed in me. They believe in me so much so that there's an affiliate link down in the description box for you to get this your hands on this equipment. Because first of all, another thing that I wanna say is that I'm shooting on, they loaned me the Fuji GFX 100S. They loaned me two different lens, a 110 and a 35 to 70 millimeter. And they also loaned me a 90 millimeter uh, lens for my Mamiya RB67. And we all know Fuji is hot, okay? Especially if you're a film digital photographer and you tether between the two and you really love the film aesthetic, but you have to shoot digital because that's sometimes the work stream, especially when you get hired on big projects for. They loaned me that GFX. Let me tell you something about the GFX. Not only is it fire, the pixel, the resolution, chef's kiss. That equipment alone, Y'all know, y'all know how much just the body of the GFX is retailing for, okay? So to have a company that has tried and tested used equipment so that you are not spending 10 grand on just the body of a camera, they have that body of the camera for a fraction of the cost. And it's been tried and tested by professionals who know what they're doing. So. I'm not trying to sell you KEH, but I'm just saying you want a digital body and you're not trying to break the bank and you want to make sure that it works. I'm not saying go to KEH, but I'm also saying go to KEH. So anyway, I'd like to thank KEH for loaning me this equipment and allowing this shoot to come to life in the way that it did. Hold it. Nice. Hold it. Okay. Actually, come back down off the front podium yes and just yeah yeah side and then tilt your yep I 
I just also want to thank the team behind the shoot because it obviously does not take one person to make everything come to life. I can't do hair, I can't do makeup, I can't do it all. So I'd like to thank the team behind it. I'd like to thank Victor on hair, Devin on makeup, Tor on styling, the models Laura and Kayra, and Charlie on videography BTS. Thank you guys so much for your time, for your resources, for your um, creativity. If you want to find them, I'm going to drop their ats in the description below. So shout out to the team. Oh. Look at me with your eyes. Film is <laughs> work. <laughs> okay, one, chin up just a little. Yep. One, two, three. Hold it. There we go, there we go. Yep. Yep, hold it. Just switch my lens. Okay. All right. One, two, three. Hold it. One, two, three. Give me a side. Yep. Just hold it. If you don't know about KEH, let me tell you a little something. They are the leading provider of pre owned camera gear and all their gear go through rigorous inspection and are graded on a scale so that you can be sure you know what you're getting. Plus, they offer a 180 day warranty and hassle-free 21 day returns. If you're looking to buy, sell, or trade, KEH is the source for all of your camera needs, and I mean digital or film. Check out the gear we use in the description below and support my little channel by using the affiliate links provided. And as a KEH affiliate, just so you know, I might be getting a little quaint 
at no extra cost to you because you're supporting the content that you're watching and this little content creator. So if you want, again, if you wanna buy, sell, or trade your camera gear, whether that be film or digital, go ahead and go on KEH.com. Like, and if you're looking for the exact uh, camera gear that I used in this video, again, the descriptions are in the description box. Go ahead, hit the links. Support me. Let KEH support you in all the camera gear stuff that you need.